archives and, and trying to piece together a lot of the things that we were looking for, digging into the, the history of the bridge company and the safe itself. Uh, we need to thank Anchor Properties. They gave, gave us uh, outstanding access to their private property, which used to be the bridge company building, and we certainly could have done it without them. Lastly, let me thank Paul Durier, the Covington branch manager of the Kenton County Public Library. He want me to check out? What? No, I mean, yeah, you're right. I guess it's not going to hurt to wander around and see if I can find some more pizza rolls, I guess, or maybe a Nintendo Switch. Okay, I like your style, Mike the Rat. Let's do this. Masks on. It doesn't fit well on my face. Oh, my God. The door was here the entire time, Mike? Tim? And this convenient microphone right here? What are you doing in here? Just going through some old equipment, you know. How it is. Well, wait. Are you saying the bunker I found is part of ICRC? Oh, yeah. We had that built about 10 years ago. Uh, you know, escape rooms were all the rage. So we joined in, and uh, now it's a great space for, uh, you know, awesome parties. Yeah, it would have been really cool if you didn't, like, let me know and maybe... Came and got me at, <laughs> at any point. <laughs> well, Tim, uh, this is an awkward everyone. Why don't you show me around? What do we got? What What are we in here right now? Well, this is the kill room. Old, old, uh, <laughs> equipment room uh, set up. So not a whole lot's going on in here right now. Just some storage. Yeah, take us on a tour. Lead the way, wicked yeah. Swami. <laughs> All right. Cables, huge cables fan. Come on in. Are open. Uh, Ooh. Way, but uh, more important, we have a conference room here. Oh, and it looks like food that I could have eaten during the quarantine. Oh, hello, Jennifer. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I heard you were also hiding out on me back there. I appreciate your attention to our distance. So it looks like uh, you're back here manning the uh, live feeds here with everybody in the Zoom call. I am. Anybody who wants to do a live acceptance speech, remote send to me. Oh, that's super fun. Yeah, that's been really cool to watch, too. I think this is going pretty well for our first time trying to do this vi digitally. I don't know how to speak. <laughs> it's going pretty good. We're, having, we're overcoming some challenges, but I think people are having fun. Well, I'm doing the same thing because I saw the bowl of Halloween candy here, and the challenge I'm having is not eating all of it in front of everyone. But I'm glad to know you and I can be better friends now. Yeah. Well, thank you for everything that you've done for this event. We really appreciate it. We'll uh, keep on keeping on, shall we? Come on, everyone. Well, my favorite one, the mail cubby here. This is where we put all of the paper that I don't want. All right. Are we going outside? Yeah. I haven't been outside in months. What? Uh, what is this? What is going on? Oh, is this? Oh, this is the, is this the Campbell Media truck? This is amazing. I didn't even know. Are you telling me that maybe some of the fumes I've been in ingesting? Is there something going on in here? Yeah, take a look. I'm afraid to. <laughs> oh! <laughs> More people who knew I was in hiding and needed help. That's really cool. Good to see you. What are you doing in here today, guys? How's that going? Could be worse. Looks like you're holding up okay. It doesn't look too busy in there or anything. Yeah, we got all this stuff. Plenty of knobs to twiddle. Well, thank you for everything that you do. We really appreciate your help in putting the show on. Yeah. Also, I'm taking it personally that you never came to rescue me. Have a good rest of your night, ish. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, sounds real. All right, let's keep going on. Yeah, I mean, as you can tell, I'm definitely dressed very professionally for the event. This is how I do all of my award shows. Thank you. We'll head back towards the bunker. All right. Oh, yeah, the bunker. My home away from home, away from home. Oh, and here's the ICRC truck. Yeah, that's amazing. What do they got going on in there? Oh. Take a look. Let's see. Yeah. Hey, ICRC truck. I'm glad you all put on suit jackets for this. Of course, of course, of course. Who are they? I see the Bengals uh, attire. That's the catchphrase. What do we got going on here tonight? Hey, can you point the mic at us like a professional? Morgan? I'm barely a professional. I think we all know this by now. Uh, okay. I'm supposed to say uh, Bengals by 50 tonight. 
have any feelings about that, Ow. Jason? Uh, for the Bengals. <laughs> it's that kind of a town. Well, thank you all for everything you do to keep the show going. Thank you, Making me look like I know what I'm doing. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah, no, next time, seriously, come out of the van and don't ever let me eat frozen pizza rolls again. Van, this is a truck. <laughs> it's a, you're right. I think we're arguing semantics now. Have a good night, gentlemen. <laughs> thank you all so much, ICRC team. Wow. I don't even know what to say now. I'm just so upset. I'm going to go sit back at my desk and give out some more awards. How's that sound? This is a green screen the entire time? I'm going to talk to my manager about this, okay? We have words later. We're, we're off air, right? <laughs> hey, everyone. Still here. Well. I think we're about that time in the evening where we talk about our next category, shall we? And we pretend that I'm still hiding in my basement. Nominees in our next categories push the elements of creativity, either through the use of art, animation, or graphics. Others entertain us, giving us a much needed laugh or smile. Other entries showcase the talented work of student storytellers in our region from elementary school through college. We look now at nominees in the categories of graphics and animation, student programming, entertainment, and a new category this year, narrative storytelling. Oh, lean back too far. All right, in the category of graphics and animation youth, the blue chip goes to Braves Beat, season 17, episode 12, producers Daniel Chen and Brian Jaya. It's Braves Beat. Happy spooky season, Braves, and welcome back. I would like to I would like to thank the Blue Chips Committee um, for hosting this event, and I'd like to thank my partner Brian Gia for his extraordinary help in producing this animation. Um, uh, a bunch of thanks goes out to the Braves Beat team for including this animation in their weekly pod, uh, productions. And last but not least, I would like to thank my teacher, Mr. Dupps, for his support and guidance throughout all of this. It's been amazing. Thank you all so much. It means a lot. Have a good day. In the category of graphics and animation, non-pro, the blue chip goes to Red and Green sing a Halloween song, Trick or Treat, Producers, Sharon McKnight and Richie McKnight. Trick or treat. And the yells keep screaming. Trick or treat. Like a choir singing. Trick or treat. Has anybody else hear them? Trick or treat. Trick or treat. Thank you! Thank you for choosing Red and Green for graphics and an animation. We strive to make our animations better every year. And thank you to the Blue Chip Award Committee for doing such a great job for putting all this together online. We really enjoy the party every year and seeing everybody's wonderful videos. Thank you for Campbell Media for airing our shows and our family and our friends. We appreciate the support. Thank you. Thank you. In the category of graphics and animation, pro, the nominees are Contact Us, producer Brady Wirtz, Campbell Media, Science Around Cincy, Extinction Savers, producers Chris Anderson and Norse Media, Jedi's and Joe's Silent Night, producer John Gibson. And the blue chip goes to the man who suggested I would eat pizza rolls cold, Jedi's and Joe's Silent Night producer John Gibson. His Excellency has decreed you will be terminated immediately. You will therefore be cast into the pit of steel, the nesting place of the all powerful Syncorator. Uh, that doesn't sound so bad. Uh.
feel like it's only acceptable to uh, accept an award for a G.I. Joe versus Star Wars movie trailer um, with toys if you've got Han Solo standing next to you. So uh, on behalf of uh, the Jedi's and Joe's stop motion project, which pretty much allowed me to play with my toys in my house for a weekend while my wife and my kids were away. And it was it was pretty darn fun blowing everything up. Uh, but on behalf of that trailer, uh, Harrison Ford and I, Han Solo, are happy to accept the award. And we want to thank the Blue Chip Committee uh, for all their hard work in watching all the videos um, and, and the award. Thank you so much and have a great night. In the category of student programming K through eight, the nominees are Crossroads Elementary Tour at Campbell Media, producer Crossroads Elementary, Grants Lake Elementary News for October 29th, 2019, producer Grants Lake Elementary News Crew, and the blue chip goes to Crossroads Elementary Tour at Campbell Media, producers Crossroads Elementary. And on Tuesday, and on Tuesday, there will be, uh, uh, sorry, there will be a low of 27 and a high of 45, and there will be snow, well, a chance of snow. So remember your salt and don't put it on your French fries. Off to Max with the sports. Thank you, Kellen. Are there any Camel fans out there? Have you heard the Camel County volleyball team is in the state tournament? They will play Owen Cap. On behalf of Crowds Crossroads Elementary, I'm accepting the speech for them. We were thrilled to have them come to our Campbell Media, and we're super proud of the work that they did. Congratulations, kids. In the category of student programming, 9 through 12, the nominees are... Braves Beat, Season 16, Episode 13, April 19, 2019. Producer, Owen Norwell. Indian Hill and Lachlan High School Collaborative Newscast, 12 16 19. Producers, Rama Sardar, Jake Summerall, and Ian Cunningham. Waycross Summer Film Workshop presents Return of the Attacking Squiller Squambies. Producers, Waycross Summer Film Workshop 2019. And the blue chip goes to, that was easy to pull out that time, Indian Hill and Lachlan High School Collaborative Newscast 12 16 19 producers Rama Sardar, Jake Summerall, and Ian Cunningham. Sport does a lot for people that has like a bad life, say they want to do basketball or something, they can do that, and stay out the streets. So I think that's now in South Bay School of Sports. We've heard from the Lachlan students about how school and work affects them every day. Thanks, Naraya. Now let's hear from some Indian Hill students and teachers about how a balance between work, school, and sports can be achieved. How do you achieve a balance between work, school, and sports? So, I have a... Hi, I would like to thank the Blue Chip Committee for this award. It's such a great honor, and I really appreciate it. A really big thank you to Mr. Dupps for teaching me everything that I know and always supporting me. Another big thank you to Miss Higdon for always supporting me and teaching me so many new things. Um, I would like to also thank my high school, Indino High School and Braves Beat. And lastly, I would like to thank my parents and my friends for always supporting me. Thank you. In the category of entertainment, youth, the nominees are Day in the Life, Tanner DeGroft, 2019. Producers, Brooke Tarter and Morgan Schultz. The Bachelor Skit, Part 1. Lena Bruscato and Owen Norwell, Producers. The Revenge of Darth Noor by Julianne Lambert, Producers, Julianne Lambert. And the blue chip goes to... In the category of Entertainment, Non-Pro, the nominees are... How to Survive a Slasher, producer, Hunter Calhoun. Saving Jewels, producer, Richie McKnight, Andrew, Andrew Widener, and Zach Myers. Hazebot, Braves Beat credits for March and April programs. Producers, Owen Norwell and Ethan Shaw. And the blue chip goes to 
me sitting in a beautiful living room right now. Saving Jewels producers Richie McKnight, Andrew Widener, and Zach Myers. Hey, Jules, could you get these copied before you head out tonight? I was also wondering, do you have any plans for later on? Because if you don't, it's actually Half Price Wings at Wingding tonight, and I thought, I don't know, maybe we Can't. could... Gotta get this done. Oh. Thank you guys so much for uh, giving us this award. It means so much to us, all the hard work we put into it, all the people that were involved, the cast and the crew, they were wonderful people that really, that I just can't thank them enough. Yeah, seriously. Um, thank you for the blue chips, for you guys, for putting this together, even despite everybody staying at home and being separate and trying and live streaming it. Thank you so much for putting this on and thank you for giving recognition to everybody involved with all of these films that came that came in and were nominated. And thank you for liking our film and enjoying it as much as you did. Yeah, and, and thank you for all the love and support and thank you for encouraging the next generation of filmmakers. In the category of entertainment pro, the nominees are Rumors, Crestview Hills Summer Concert Series, Producers, TBNK Staff. Subject 6 Alpha 2, Producer, Mark Borison. Cincinnati Entertainment Awards, Producers, Dean Lowry, Josh Semsrot, City Beat, and ICRC TV. And the blue chip goes to Cincinnati Entertainment Awards 2019. Producers, Dean Lowry, Josh Semsrot, City Beat, and ICRC TV. Just want to give a big shout out to uh, Jerry Moody Moore and Go Go Buffalo, as you saw in that clip. Uh, make sure you check them out. They're awesome. And then I want to say thanks to my awesome crew, Josh, Drew, Eric, Bob, Gonzo, and Connor. They did a fantastic job. And then I just want to say, uh, make sure you wear your mask and vote. Uh, Steve, you promised I would win if I host it again this year. I'm not really sure. We'll deal with it later. <laughs> Oh, hey, everyone. In the category of narrative storytelling, non-pro, the nominees are Saving Jewels, producer Richie McKnight, Andrew Widener, and Zach Myers. Someday Sunday, producer Austin Fiddler. Way Out There, producers Way Out There, Hunter Calhoun, Jackson Cody, Brian Bauer, and Tyler Stacy. And the blue chip goes to Saving Jewels, producers Richie McKnight, Andrew Widener, and Zach Myers. Sacrificing friends and family, staying up late to make sure the job gets done. I could have slowed down at any time, but I didn't. I gave everything to this company, and what good did it do me? And now I have absolutely nothing to show for it. I know that I'm past saving, but... I was hoping you weren't. McGrath. Holy moly, guys. Thank you so much for this award. It was, it was a blast making this film, and we had a great time working with these talented actors, working with the great crew. Thank you guys so much for recognizing our beautiful achievement as much as we can. Yeah, definitely. Thanks to the cast and crew for a very supportive and loving environment to create the best media that we possibly can. And special thanks for Patrick and Zach to really bringing Jeff and Jules McGrath to life.
Yeah, and I, I want to thank my uh, compatriots here as well. I want to thank Zach and Andrew for being wonderful co-workers on this film. Without them, it would not have been the same production whatsoever. Hey, guys, let's go get some wings at Wingdings. <laughs> hey, <laughs> yeah, let's go. See ya. See ya. In the category of narrative storytelling, pro, the nominees are The Voice on the Radio, producer J.W. Cox and Naeem David. Five Stars, Producers, Caleb Hodges, Megan Mixon. Amber Alert. Producers, Caleb Hodges and Megan Mixon. And the blue chip goes to Five Stars. Producers, Caleb Hodges and Megan Mixon. Three stars. What? 30, we're going to a live Zoom. Three stars. The can you open the door I, so I can get out? What the hell, man? I got Whoa. you home quick. I let you fool around in my back seat and I get three stars? I, I, I don't really think about the ratings, man. I just, I just... Oh, yeah? Yeah? Well, you should have. What's he doing? Where's he going? Where's he going? Hi, um, I'm Caleb Hodges. Uh, I just want to say thank you to the Blue Chips Committee for this award. Um, it was really fun working on this project. Uh, special thanks to uh, our professors, uh, John Gibson, Chris Strobel, Aaron Zladkin, Sarah Dravik, and Tracy Songer, and also just to everybody that encouraged us with this project. Uh, it was a lot of fun to make, and just special thanks again to our cast and crew. Uh, it was an amazing experience. Okay, everyone. I don't know how you're feeling, but I'm feeling like we're going to take a brief break and then we're going to come back with, guess what? More Blue Chips Awards. Amazing. See you on the other side. On air or online. This is media for your community. This is ICRC TV. There's no better feeling than to be a part of a fire department. This is a family. Police officer, it's, it's a great job. It really is. Um, you never know what you're going to get. Um, you never know who you're going to help. We're forgetting what's going on outside. We're focusing on what's going on in here. And we're all family. This idea of a family academy, connecting families to talk about relevant issues. Unbelievable. Milford has stormed all the way back in this football game. And it's up to every one of you all to keep this going and carry the torch. I hope you will do that. Thank you. ICRC TV. Listen, I realize that I'm not perfect, but it all really started to change because you judge me for having a problem. No one is going to know that I need help. I need help. I know that no one is going to judge me for having a problem. I realize that I'm not perfect, but it all really started to change because you listen. Your son wants to get a cat, but you're allergic. Do you A, prepare yourself, B, make the best of it. 25. Good job! Or C, find a loophole. When it comes to parenting, there are no perfect answers. But that's okay, because you don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. Teens in foster care will love you just the same. What to expect when you're expecting a teenager. Today we're talking about how to wake up your teen. And this works literally every time. Good kisses. Good kisses. You heard how loud I, no, I heard. I heard. It wasn't you. Yeah. It was the... Is that bacon? You don't have to know it all to be a perfect parent. Thousands of teens in foster care will love you just the same.
Marie, you have prediabetes. Prediabetes? I don't have time to eat right or exercise. I'm a busy mom. Oh, you're a busy mom. Yeah. This is great news. Busy moms never get prediabetes. Wait, what? Let me just... Yeah, this is all the people at risk for prediabetes, and way over here, busy moms. María, ¿tiene usted prediabetes? ¿Prediabetes? Uh -huh. Ah, no, mire, doctor, yo no tengo tiempo ni de comer bien ni de hacer ejercicio. Yo soy una mamá muy ocupada. Ay, pero ¿por qué me lo dijo usted antes? ¿Cómo? Claro, porque las mamás muy ocupadas como usted no pueden tener prediabetes. Permítame enseñarle. Aquí están las personas en riesgo de tener prediabetes. Y aquí, al final, mire, las mamás ocupadas como usted. ¿En serio? No. Hey, we're back! And guess what? Our final grouping of awards make up the backbone of the content created by Community Access Media. We honor the nominees in the categories of Musical Performance, Performing Arts, Sports Non-Event, Sports Event, Live Studio and Live Remote Programming, and Audio Podcasts. In the category of Musical Performance Youth, our nominees are Indian Hill Primary School, a Halloween happening 2019. Producers, Robert Brunner and Steve Overberg. Indian Hill Cabaret, Time Warp. Producers, Robert Brunner and Steve Overberg. And the blue chip goes to Indian Hill Primary School, a Halloween happening 2019. Producers, Robert Brunner and Steve Overberg. In the category of musical performance, non-pro, the nominees are The Next Chapter Church by Brothers Keeper, 61619. Producers, Hugh Mitchie and Brent Reed. Mason's Summer Concert Series 19, Brent James and the Vintage Youth. Producers, ICRC TV Volunteers. Good Old Gospel Time, Episode 79. Producer, Rhonda Combs. And the blue chip goes to Good old gospel time, episode 79, producer Rhonda Combs. Off, but okay, well, that was not good old gospel time, and I appreciate the opportunity to speak again because I have removed my demon eyes from earlier that folks told me about. So, but uh, also need to thank God for His mercy and His grace, the ability that He gives me to do this program. It's not much, I'm not much for sure, but He gives me the abilities to do this, and I thank Him for that. Thankful for my family and friends that are here with me tonight. Got a fellow all the way from Nashville, Tennessee. So thank you for uh, letting him be able to experience this with me as well. It's been my pleasure doing this program. We're going to keep on doing it just as long as we can. Maybe another, I don't know, 50 years or so. Thank you, Blue Chip Community. Community media, we thank you. God bless. Category of Musical Performance Pro. The nominees are Cincinnati Entertainment Awards 2019. Producers, Dean Lowry. Josh Semstrot, City Beat, ICRC TV. City Nights, Root Cellar Extract. Producer, Jason Dudas. 
Rumors, Crestview Hills Summer Concert Series, Producers, TBNK Staff. And the blue chip goes to Rumors, Crestview Hills Summer Concert Series, Producers, TBNK Staff. All right, very excited about this. In the category of podcast youth, the blue chip goes to the Marymount Life Experience. There's just the one winner. That one's on the prompter. The Marymount Life Experience producers, Luke Late, Tyler Trich, and Andrew Foley. On behalf of Tyler and Luke and Andrew, I want to thank the Blue Chip Committee for this award. I'm the instructor, Nathan Eden at Marymount High School. Uh, honored to uh, have this award tonight. I will be sure to share it with Tyler, Luke, and Andrew. They had a ball uh, interviewing Marty, and we want to thank Marty Brittiman for coming in, too. It was uh, really a special day for us in the Marymount community. So thank you, Blue Chip. Thank you, ICRC. And we hope to win again next year. In the category of podcast professional, the nominees are 30 Rack of Sports, Episode 3, Fatheads. Producers, Josh Semstrot, Greg Miller, Zach Redman. 30 Rack of Sports, Special Edition, Ohio Sports Decade Countdown. Producers, Josh Semstrot, Greg Miller, Zach Redman. And the blue chip goes to Rack of Sports, Episode 3, Fatheads. Producers, Josh Semstrot, Greg Miller, and Zach Redman. Making the decision on a roster move or hiring coaches are some of the stuff you have to worry about. When you have that added pressure and stress of not trusting the organization and knowing, Brown. And knowing that oh, they that don't know what they're doing, that's just an added amount of stress that you don't need as a young player. Don't thinly veil. Unquote. Don't thinly veil that. Just... Just say it's Mike Brown. So no, I, I mean, love who the, else could it be talking? About? I, I know, that. but like, just say worry, it. Just have say to it. worry about some idiot is my favorite part of that because that is. Uh, thank you, Blue Chips. Thank you so much. Um, I have to thank my uh, well, the the hosts of this show, uh, Greg Miller and Zach Redman. Uh, they came to me with the idea of wanting to do a sports talk show um, on Ohio sports and where we talk Ohio beer, Ohio sports, and we have a good time. Um, so uh, I'd like to thank the other nominees in the category, and yeah, thank Zach and Greg so much for all the work they do on this show, bringing the content, bringing the talent and enthusiasm each week. Uh, we are still producing new shows, a totally revamped podcast from a year ago. Um, so you can find us on social medias at 30 Rack of Sports. And uh, yeah, be sure to check us out. New episodes every Monday. So thank you, Blue Chips, so much. Well, we're on to award number 37 of 52 this evening, which means that if you're up for any of the awards 38 through 52, you can send me a Venmo payment and I'll let you know who won in advance. In the category of performing arts, youth, the Blue Chip goes to... Indian Hill Middle School Fall Play, A Little Princess. Producers, Robert Brunner and Steve Overberg. I was almost lost with no sense of myself. And then the magic appeared. You have given me life, child. You have given me hope. So here you are. Remove your hands from the girl. This girl is a charity case I had fobbed off on me. I had no idea she was bothering you. Be assured, sir, she will be severely punished. And take off those clothes, Sarah. They are not suitable for your chores. Those clothes came from Ram Dass and myself. First of all, I'd like to thank Mr. Dubs, my teacher, for helping us being able to be creative and work hard, and he's been at all of our events. I'd also like to thank the Board of Ed and all the families at Indian Hill that have supported IHTN. We couldn't have done it without their support. I'd also like to thank the Blue Chips community for being able to host this event tonight to recognize all of us professionals, non professionals. And I'd also like to thank the crew that has gotten a chance to work with me. I couldn't have done it without them. They're really the concrete to the structure. 
Thank you. In the category of performing arts, non-pro, the nominees are Good Old Gospel Time, Episode 78, Producer, Rhonda Combs. Mason Summer Concert Series 19, Brent James and the Vintage Youth. Producers, ICRC TV Volunteers. And the Blue Chip Award goes to Mason Summer Concert Series 19, Brent James and the Vintage Youth. Producers, ICRC TV Volunteers. Uh, thank you so much. I'm actually accepting this award on behalf of my brother, Drew Lowry, who did a fantastic job on that production with the rest of our awesome volunteers. And if you're watching this show, you're probably already involved in public access. But in case you aren't, if you ever want to help out on one of our truck shoots, we have a lot of fun here. We provide a meal. It's always a great time in the ICRC TV truck. Thanks again. Forming Arts Pro, the nominees are... Miami University Dance Theater, Spring 2019. Producer, Josh Semsrott, ICRC TV. Rumors, Crestview Hills Summer Concert Series. Producers, TBNK staff. Miami University's Dance Theater, Winter 2019. Producer, Josh Semsrott, ICRC TV. And the blue chip goes to Miami University Dance Theater, Spring 2019. Producer, Josh Semsrott, ICRC-TV. Thanks again, Blue Chips, and thank you to all of uh, the wonderful volunteers that have helped me out on this production every year. Uh, plenty of student volunteers from Talawanda High School and uh, all the Miami University staff. I want to thank Lana K. Rosenberg, who leads this group of uh, dancers and all the choreography work that they do. It really is a special and very unique show every, each and every year. So I want to thank them for always inviting us back out and uh, all of our volunteers, and hopefully we uh, get back to it soon after uh, the whole uh, quarantine here. Thanks again, Blue Chips. Thanks again, volunteers. In the category of sports non-event, youth, the nominees are Boys Soccer, Road to State 2019. Producer, Jackson Edel. West Height, Boys Basketball 2019. Producer, Tyler Hopton. And the Blue Chip Award goes to Boys Soccer, Road to State. Producer, Jackson Ebel. In the category of sports non-event pro, the blue chip goes to NKY sports legends, Cubby Lion. Producers, Brennan, Coleman, Broering, and Dudas. The big Sparky, such a great man. He could relate to a ball player he never said anything really bad to him. If he wanted to, wanted something done, he'd come into the locker room and, and tell Shep, hey, Shep, go over and tell Bench to get Ray Knight's haircut. 
<laughs> so he would never, I mean, he'd never say anything directly, but he'd tell Shep and then Shep would tell Betch, and Betch would go over, and of course, all the young guys coming up would listen to somebody like The Northern Kentucky Sports Hall of Fame is honored to have Cubby Lyons considered for this award. Cubby was a great veteran, resident of Northern Kentucky for 90 years, he's still living. And he was a member of the Reds bullpen catcher under Sparky Anderson for 10 to 15 years. And he was a great citizen and well represented for Northern Kentucky. We thank you for this honor. And also I'd like to thank TBNK for all they do for our community. Tonight's nominees for sports event youth could be anyone. I'm holding the cards. Indian Hill versus Anderson Varsity Wrestling, January 11th, 2019. Producer, Robert Brunner. Indian Hill versus Marymount Boys Varsity Football, October 4th, 2019. Producer, Robert Brunner. Boys Varsity Football, Indian Hill versus Reading, October 11th, 2019. Producers, Jake Summerall and Robert Brunner. And the blue chip goes to... Boys Varsity Football, Indian Hill versus Reading, 10, 11, 19. Producers, Jake Summerall and Robert Brunner. And guess what? It's a tie, and it also goes to Indian Hill versus Marymount. Boys Varsity Football, there are so many names in this. 10, 4, 19. Producers, Robert Brunner. Congratulations to you all. Situation where the Braves could pick up a first down without scoring a touchdown. Mm -hmm. But if they don't, they can rely on Luke Lumberg. A direct hit, run from Trey Lopez as he finds the end zone. Touchdown Braves. Nate, that's always a good play, is it not? Yes. To have uh, one of the better athletes uh, in recent years at this school, Trey Lopez, take the ball full speed outside and figure a time out when to cut that up, and he did just that for six. Good news for everybody that's a fan of Maddie's that would like to get there easy. And by the way, Mark Bennett, Back, back from injury. Back, uh -huh. Go ahead. Mark Bennett back after an injury and answers with a touchdown. Couldn't get any better as the Braves are up 41-0 to zero with three minutes left. And we will take another replay, take another look of, at that. Lopez will hand it off. Mark Bennett running wide and gets in untouched for a touchdown. Yeah, you just see on the side. First of all, I'd like to thank Mr. Dubs, my teacher, for helping us being able to be creative and work hard, and he's been at all of our events. I'd also like to thank the Board of Ed and all the families at Indian Hill that have supported uh, IHTN. We couldn't have done it without their support. I'd also like to thank the Blue Chips community for being able to host this event tonight to recognize all of us professionals, not for professionals. And I'd also like to thank the crew that has gotten a chance to work with me. I couldn't have done it without them. They're really the concrete to the structure. Thank you. In the category of sports event non-pro, the nominees are FNF 19 St. Bernard Elmwood Place versus North College Hill. Producers, ICRC TV volunteers. MHS ESPYs 2019. Producers, Mason High School. Integrated Media FNF 19, Ross versus Harrison. Producers, ICRC TV volunteers. And the blue chip goes to Friday Night Football 19, St. Bernard Elmwood Place versus North College Hill. Producers, ICRC TV volunteers. Elmwood Place and pitch that ball away. A very wise decision as it results in six. He was looking. He had to coverage. There you see, he's in the grasp. And oh, he just got just kind of handed it over yeah. to him. Yeah. Oh, nice. Stick this to the house for him. Nice job. 20 yards in from Mr. Landon. Don't discount that move there at the end. If he would have stayed to his right. He may not have gotten to the pylon. So that little head fake. So I'm accepting on behalf of all of our awesome volunteers again. I want to give a specific shout out, to, shout out to our director, Drew Lowry, my little brother, and replay graphics operator, Ben Lip. Um, you guys did a great job on this football game, but your fantasy football teams are trash and they're going down. Thanks.
In the category of Sports Event Pro, the nominees are Reds High School Showcase 19, Centerville, ver Centerville versus Milford. Producers, Dean Lowry, Jason Dudley, ICRC TV. TBNK Sports, Campbell County versus Simon Kenton Football. Producers, TBNK staff. CCHS versus MHHS Football Game. Producers, Campbell Media and the blue chip goes to Campbell County High School versus Mount Healthy High School football game. Producer, Campbell Media. Draw or screen to throw off the Campbell County defense. Lanier airing it out. Has a man streaking, makes the catch. And another huge third down conversion for Mount Healthy. And this time they get the ball inside the 10 yard line down at the six. So take another look here. Diallo coming up big. Yeah, well covered again, but stays focused and hauls that big pass in. Hello and welcome to Campbell Media's accepted speech for our coverage of Campbell County High School football. We're super excited to be awarded this, and we want to thank the Blue Chip Committee and a whole bunch of other people, so I'm going to pass it over to Jennifer. Thanks, Kevin. We want to thank Campbell County High School and Camel Athletics for providing the opportunity for us to do this coverage. That's Brady. Directing is all about timing and a great crew. And I want to thank my great crew, Patrick, Jake, Cassie, Clay, in addition to Kevin and Jennifer. Again, we want to thank you for this award. We can't wait to get out and do some more Campbell County sports coverage. Go Camels! In the category of live studio programming, youth, the blue chip goes Grants Lick Elementary News for October 29th, 2019. Producers, Grants Lick Elementary News Crew. Every day at Grants Lick Elementary, we show our pride by being safe, respectful, and responsible. Let's say pride. P, put my best foot forward. R, respect everyone. I, I am important. D, dare take positive risks, and E, exceed expectations. Leader hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. <laughs> oh, except your video is not showing up. Yeah, shoot. There we go, shoot. Hi, I'm Hope Reynolds, teacher and leader at Grand Psych Elementary News Crew. I just want to say thank you for this award. My students have worked so hard and really love being a voice at our school. Also, thank you to Jennifer Teipel and Gamble County Media for working with me and my students. You guys have helped us so much. Um, I wish my students could be here right now with me to accept this, but they are going to be so happy to receive this award. Thank you. Story of live studio programming, non-pro, the blue chip goes to Talking with Santa 2019, producers, Waycross Community Media Volunteers. Are you Saint Nick Santa? Yes. Oh my gosh. I would like to so be on this show once. Nick, so I go by the name of Saint Nick and I go by the name of Santa Claus. And I go oh, by the name of Chris Kringle. Nights, I go by a lot of different names, but they Do call you? me different things in different oh. countries. Wow. That is cool. That is cool. Yeah. Really cool. <laughs> but, but, huh. he, but here at home in Ohio, they call me Santa Claus. My name is Dana Gagnon, and I'm accepting this award for Waycross Community Media. I want to recognize the all-volunteer crew who made this live shoot work so well, including handling calls from children who called to talk to Santa while we were live. I also want to recognize the children who came to our studio to meet Santa in person. This was the first time we've had children in the studio for this shoot, and the kids were really great in front of the camera. In the category of live studio programming pro, the nominees are City Nights, Root Cellar Extract, producer, Jason Dudas. City Nights, Maria Corelli, producer, Jason Dudas. And the blue chip goes to my least favorite person on staff tonight, 
<laughs> Big City Nights Root Cellar Extract Producer, City Nights, and Jason Dudas. Root Cellar Extract is on now. Hey, I'd like to thank everyone for this award here. In the category of live remote We're gonna go to the programming. Youth. The blue chip goes to. Just giving away awards at this point now. Indian Hill versus Anderson Varsity Wrestling, January eleventh, twenty nineteen, producer Robert Brunner. I just want to say thank you to all the fans that came out to support that game. It was a super fun event to do, um, super unique, a really nice opportunity for me to be able to work with different um, crew there. I'd also like to say thank you again to Mr. Dupps for helping make that possible. And I'll show um, and to the principal, Mr. Damadeo, for helping make that uh, event possible. Thank you. In the category of live remote programming non-pro, the nominees are Jazz in the Park 2019, Producers, Waycross Community Media Volunteers, Reds High School Showcase 19, Edgewood versus Harrison, Producers, Harrison High School, ICRC TV Volunteers, MHS SB's 2019, Producers, Mason High School Integrated Media, and that sweet, sweet blue chip goes to Maybe you could read it too. Mason High School SB's 2019 producers, Mason High School Integrated Media. It's all real there, folks. Our teams have provided some amazing moments. We got to see overtime thrillers, school records broken, and maybe multiple uh, championship runs. Let's take a look at the nominees for most outstanding game or match of the year. I'm accepting this award on behalf of the, the Mason High School Integrated Media Program. Um, Andrew, one of the wonderful interns that now is at Kent State in their broadcasting program, directed that show. Um, and really, the students made it from the ground up. The roll-ins were made by them. The set was designed by them. They directed. They did graphics. Um, and then Crossroads Mason hosted the event and it was nice enough to let us use their control room and kind of get everything off the ground. Um, thanks to the Blue Chips, and uh, have a wonderful night. In the category of live remote programming pro, the nominees are OHSAA D2 Semifinal Volleyball, Gilmore versus Fenwick, Producers, ICRC TV, OHSAA. Reds High School Show Case 19, Centerville versus Milford, Producers, Dean Lowry, Jason Dudley, ICRC TV. Cincinnati Entertainment Awards 2019, Producers, Dean Lowry, Josh Semstrot, City Beat, and ICRC TV. And the blue chip goes to 
OHSAAD2 semifinal volleyball, Gilmore versus Fenwick producers, ICRC TV and OHSAA. In that timeout, hopefully will result in that first ball side out. All right, Emmy Plicka right there holding serve for Gilmore, looking to extend this set. Maisie across court, Garden to close it out, and that'll do it. Julia Garden with the strike makes it 15 12, your final here in the fifth and final set. And the Fenwick Falcons have punched their ticket to the D2 State Championship game Saturday afternoon, where they'll take on the Highland Fighting Scots. With quick final analysis. First, thanks to the Blue Chip Committee and um, the wonderful people that make things and productions happen at ICRC. Josh, there. Dean there, who people who work their butts off to make sure that our productions get off the ground. Also thanks to the OHSA for having us out for those productions. Those are some of the biggest productions we do through the year and definitely some of the longest days. They're pretty great. So thanks everybody, have a great night. We're all doing that, a collective sigh of relief. Okay, look, I don't know if I can take it anymore. Like, I saw outside after months, and I gotta find out what life is like up above. So, here's your chance to win our last giveaway tonight, one more Amazon gift card, and here's how. Jump into our live feed about what nightmarish hellscape awaits me outside this bunker. It's 2020 after all, so have some fun. Apparently, literally anything goes in 2020, but please, you know, keep it clean and no bonus jokes or points for political jokes. Those are super played out and I definitely probably won't be picking one of those. After we run this video, I'm gonna pick my favorite answer from the comments. And I mentioned earlier, if you can't get in there, just text me, 513-405-4777. And you know what? We'll give out the last awards there. How's that sound? All right, let's take a video break. I gotta get a drink. Uh, there's only two more. I'll be right back. Hi. You think you're probably sober? Yeah. But you're thinking about taking the back roads home just in case. If you're probably sober, then why would you do that? Good choice. Probably okay isn't okay. If you see a warning sign, stop and call a cab, a car, or a friend. That's a full glass of wine. I'll be chatting you later. What do you think you're doing, Kevin? I uh, was just going to drive home. Ah, uh, ah, uh, uh, there are several warning signs present that you shouldn't be driving. Like hearing voices? Like your text to emoji ratio? Oh, man, the selfies. <laughs> Selfie nailed it. We all have warning signs that let us know that we're probably not okay to drive. Mine is pretending to be your subconscious. Craig, come on, man, let's put a ride home. It's a short ride from your neighborhood to your naturehood. To find a neighborhood park or green space near you, visit discovertheforest.org. This is the moment I knew his future had no boundaries. There are some moments only the forest can inspire. Find yours at discovertheforest.org. It's a short drive from your neighborhood to your naturehood. To find a neighborhood park or green space near you, visit discovertheforest.org. Hello. Hi. I'm from Blue Hood Stonebarns. We brought a meal for you and I'm here to serve it to you. Okay, great. Come in. Zucchini carbonara, made from zucchini that was harvested earlier this morning. Again? Oh. Hey, Dan Barber. You have room for a little bit more? Come yeah, on come in. Come on in. Brochettes. The sausage. 
So when we made that zucchini carbonara, you know, they're the end pieces of the zucchini, and they're the cores that we cut away, not to mention zucchini flour. Usually those get thrown out. We use them to create an entire second dish. Does that, oh. Again? Uh, I'm here to bring you your third course. It's the vines from your zucchini. We'll have a little zucchini stem pasta. A different experience of zucchini. When we start to think differently about our food, we can get a lot more out of it. This is delicious. What do you think we can make out of this? 40% of food in America is never eaten. Cook it, store it, share it. Visit savethefood.com. Yeah, I don't know if you know what an apocalyptic hellscape looks like, but it's not nice. And it is incredibly hot outside. Yeah, I gotta go. Okay, Mom, I will talk to you later. Well, it turns out things haven't changed much outside from before. It is incredibly hot. I guess that's comforting for some of us, but not for me. On that, I think it's time to pick our last winner. So now you can watch me as I look down to my left here, or your right, depending on how this looks to you, uh, to pick a winner. So, well, I think our live stream may have, let's see here. Let me check in the comments. Has anybody, has anybody sent me one? I don't think I got any answers on this break. Well, on that note then, we'll try and find a winner later on tonight. How's that sound? No promises. I don't even know when you're watching this stream now. Uh, on that, I think it's time for us to do our last two awards. What do you all say? Great, I can't hear you. That's what I'm here for. Okay, in the category of power of access, our nominees are Reading Doughboy Monument Coverage. Producers, Josh Semsrat, ICRC TV. City Nights 20th Anniversary Special. Producer, Jason Dudas. Waycross Election Forum. Forest Park Council Candidates Forum. Producers, Waycross Community Media Volunteers. And the blue chip goes to Waycross Election Forum, Forest Park Council Candidates Forum. Producers, Waycross Community Media Volunteers. That's a great answer. And Aaron, same question to you. What are the top three issues facing the city? Well, if I had to nail it down to a few points, it would be number one, taxes. Um, a number of residents have expressed to me that they feel the taxes are very high, um, and that is something that the city needs to address. Number two, it would be vacancy. Um, whether it's vacant buildings or uh, vacant homes, people and businesses are leaving Forest Park, um, and that puts a higher tax burden on the rest of us to fill that gap. And then number three, I will... My name is Dana Gagnon, and I'm accepting this award for Waycross Community Media. One of the important things that Access Television does is to connect communities with their local governments and issues. Waycross has done that with live election forums for over 30 years, with volunteer crews that make it possible for us to be that connection. It's time for one of my favorite awards of the evening, so let's go to it. In the category of most memorable access moment, the blue chip goes to Science Around Cincy Extinction Savers. Producer, Chris Anderson and Norse Media. So what can we do here in Cincinnati to help with the conservation effort uh, overall? There's so many things people can do in their daily lives. And you know, I love telling people that what crew does is really important, the science is important, but it, it alone is not gonna save these, these wildlife species. So as individuals in our society, we can do things just every day in decreasing our footprint, you know? Gotcha. Recycle, that's, all those things add up. Bring um, a water bottle. Exactly, <laughs> leave the plastic <laughs> bottles alone. That's right. We don't need them. Thank you guys so much for this award. Uh, it's really humbling to get uh, honored by the committee. And, uh, you know, it's, it's just, it's really just a great feeling to see that our work has, uh, is getting validated. It's really awesome. So again, I want to thank John Gibson and then all the NKU students who work through Norse Media. You guys are so instrumental to what we do and most importantly, teaching young people about science and the world around them. It's, it's just a really great feeling. And of course, finally, I wanna thank my, my wonderful wife, Mary Ellen. Well, congratulations there. I would guess next year's most memorable access moment will literally be this entire show. 
Ladies and gentlemen, that brings us to the end of our awards for tonight. First off, many wholehearted congratulations to all the nominees, also to those of you watching at home. Have a great rest of the evening, and hopefully we'll see you in person next time. Or, maybe not!